What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Luca with Sport Breakers. Today we have uh, some interesting products for Retail Friday. We have Gems of the Game box sets. Uh, I was recently in Canada. I went to a Walmart there just to check out what they had. The short of it is a lot more hockey and way less of pretty much everything else. But they did have these repacks. Uh, these may be available in America, but I haven't seen them at my local Target or Walmart or anything like that. So I thought I'd pick two of them up. Uh, they sounded kind of interesting. Yet again, it's a repack. It is Retail Friday, so we aren't expecting much out of it. But hopefully they will uh, be a bit fun, have some interesting stuff in it. I did watch one or two of these uh, box openings on YouTube after buying them. They had some cool stuff, uh, but much like most repack things, it's hard to tell uh, because you get a lot of similar stuff if you buy a bunch at the same time because people are opening boxes or opening box sets or whatever. So each of these is going to have one graded card, one hobby pack, five factory sealed packs, uh, two triple play packs, which I've never opened, and a bonus item. So there's a lot. Uh, these were about 20 bucks ish uh, They were a little bit more Canadian, obviously, because of the exchange rate. I will preface this by saying I don't know uh, my historical players too well, so maybe we get some graded cards and, and I may miss a couple things. These are more just for fun and to, to really see what's in them, so I think we can dive right in. Keep in mind, just like with any repack, your chances of getting something of value are very, very low. Pretty much everything will be searched, and uh, they're a money-making operation. So nothing in this is random. They are to us, but to the company that made it, it's 100% fun. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, it looks like our extra item is going to be a pack. I don't see anything else in here. So let's take out our packs first. Hopefully we got some good stuff. Some nice modern packs. Should we look at the graded card now or? Let's look at it now. Oh. Cool, ham, okay, yes, so I, I do know what these are. Oh, no, I do not know what these are. Okay. Uh, the videos that I watched had a bunch of Phillies 2008 championship cards. This is actually 2009 Upper Deck First Edition Cole Hamels, the pitcher. Uh, it's actually a 10, which is nice, but it's BCCG, so uh, pretty good. Cole Hamels. Okay, well, we'll have to check that out. It's not numbered or anything. It's just a, a normal, normal card. So... You know, it's probably not worth a ton. This, I believe, is our bonus pack. Has some extra cards in it, so we'll we'll save that for last, and we'll see what's in there. And our normal packs are, oh, modern, uh, 2019 series one. We have three of those, ten cards each. Uh, Pinnacle 2013 eight card hobby pack, which is nice. We have Topps Baseball 2017 Series 2. That's a triple play pack. And another triple play pack. And 2008 Upper Deck X. These are some cool looking cards. I think we'll start with triple play because uh, they're the least valuable or interesting. Let's see what's in them. I have no idea what these packs would retail you. Yet again, I've literally never seen triple play other than in these sets. Oh, okay. It's uh, like a die cut sticker type of thing, it looks like. Oh, no, there's just one. Let's see what the description says. So, it's a 100 card base set, including 90 commons and 10 when I was a kid. And uh, you want blue borders, red borders, they're all just stickers, pretty much. Real feel batting glove. Okay, I have no idea what these are. Uh, they look crappy, to be honest. You have rated rookie stickers, that's kind of cool. But I don't know what it has to do with the series. Let's see what we got. Mike Trout, Andrew McCutton, Jay Bruce, Blake Deven. Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, I'm going to have to bet that these have absolutely zero value. Uh, seeing that they're not even like pictures, they're just drawn. 
Pence and a MLB Player's Choice sticker. And we got a Yovan Gallinari, another Mike Trout, Andrew McCutcheon, and Jay Bruce. We got a lot of a lot of repeats for two packs. Okay. Let's just toss these up here by our name card. Remember to follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of giveaways on there and we have more interesting content that you're not gonna see on here. Uh, just like smaller day-to-day -day pack breaks that we then will give away to people or whatever. Okay. Alex Rodriguez, New York Yankees. That's pretty good. Roy Oswalt, Houston Astros. Astros are doing really well. Die cut, David Ortiz, Boston Red Sox. Right, let's fix the focus here. It's my first die cut I've actually ever opened. I just don't buy sets that have them. X Potential, Jose Reyes. Cool, with the little uh, outline of them on the back. Uh, if anybody wants this, I doubt it still is valuable or does anything, but that's there for you. A Yankee Stadium Legacy card. That looks really nice. And a Rick Ankles St. Louis Cardinals. So we got some some good cards in there. I don't know if any of that is of value. I assume it's not at all. Looks like base. There's nothing numbered, uh, but pretty good. Tops Baseball Series Two All Star Game MVP cards. Let's just dive in. See if we get anything interesting in here. Luis Severino, Todd Frazier, Kendall. Graveman, here we go, focus. Chase Headley, New York Yankees. On Reek Hernandez, our insert is a Mike Trout All-Star. That's pretty cool. First pitch, Steve Bowen. Absolutely worthless. Mauricio Cabrera, Brad Miller. Buster Posey. Alex Dickerson, and Chris Iannata. Some pretty good stuff. We got a Mike Trout MVP. No rookies that I saw, though, which is uh, actually a bit weird. Unless they marked them differently in this. Oh, no. We did have the Morio, Maurice, Mauricio. I can't speak today. Uh, so one rookie. I take it back. We got one rookie. I think we'll pull all our rookies out to the side here. So this is our hobby pack of Pinnacle. I haven't opened Pinnacle before, so we'll see what we get. Okay, Matt Kane, Kenders Morales, Aramis Ramirez, Tommy Hansen, a Team Pinnacle, Greg Maddox, is that numbered? Nope. That's a cool looking card. Hanley Ramirez. Got a rookie card, two rookie cards actually. Shelby Miller and Justin Wilson. Are these all jersey lists? Yeah, no team logos. They are uh, a logo list set. So our hobby pack was logo list. Cool, cool, cool. Tops Baseball 2019 Series 1. We got a lot of Series 2 coming down the way in terms of, uh, of pack openings. So I uh, hope that we get some cool stuff here. Jake Bowers off to a pretty good start. Uh, Underwood Jr. Stadium card. Kyle Hendricks. Bryce David, Clayton Richard, Michael Taylor, Trevor Williams, Brandon Belt, and Carlos Martinez. So nothing super crazy there. Uh, Abisil Garcia, Sal Romano, Charlie Blackman, Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium, Boston Boys insert, Matt Carpenter, pretty nice, for the St. Louis Cardinals, Jordan Zimmerman, Michael Conforto, 
Herrera, pretty good card. And uh, Semyon, Marcus Semyon for the Athletics. Okay, one more pack. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Angle Adam, Rick Porcella. She or Sir Diddy shares his. I was so confused. Sir Diddy shares his experience. Kevin Gaussman, Andrew Miller, Whit Merrifield, Miguel Cabrera, Luis Urias, rookie, Yadier Molina, and Corey Seager. So nothing out of those packs, really. Uh, in general, nothing out of any of the packs. But we got the bonus pack, and I'm sure that a repacked set of cards is going to be uh, a hit. You know, for sure a hit. David Ortiz, Cameron Maiden, and Prince Fielder. I don't even know what these sets are. Specially commissioned paintings. Cool idea. Uh, not sure if anybody collects or cares about it. Next box. We're going to blow through this one. I don't want this video to run too long for you guys. So I'm hearing something rattling around in here that does not sound like a pack of cards. That would be this. This must be our, our extra gift. All right, sorry about that, guys. We uh, ran out of space on that SD card somehow. But uh, we got our little gift from that box. Uh, pretty worthless, I'd assume, but we'll toss them. We'll toss them right up here. You can watch over our stack of cards. Our graded card is a 2008 UD first edition Star Quest, uh, also 10 mint or better. It seems like everything is Phillies, so someone must have bought a, a massive Phillies kit. Decided, hey, we're gonna grade them all. And we're gonna we're gonna toss them in packs of repacks. All right. Looks like we got different cards. Triple play, I don't even think I'm gonna open these. These weren't really worthwhile. We got Topps Baseball 2017 Series 2 X. Exact same stuff, that's pretty good. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything different. Start with the Series 2. One in seven gold and one in 10 rainbow foil. So maybe we'll hit something. My bet would be on no. Let's see. Memorable moments. Bo Jackson MLB All-Star Game MVP. Pretty cool. Looks like we got an insert, like a, a advertising insert. MLB All-Star Game MVP, Ichiro. If anybody wants that, the show 17. 10 standard packs, I doubt anybody still plays that. But if you want it, it's there. Mauricio Calbera, pretty good. And lots of athletics, cool. Upper Deck 2008, why don't we do it? I mean, this is a cool looking set, uh, to be fair, but it's not a very Crazy set for, I assume, retail hits, apparently. Ramirez, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Matt Holiday, Colorado Rockies. We got a exponential Carlos Beltran, pretty good. Yankee Stadium Legacy. Gary Sheffield, awesome. And a Raphael for a cow. So we've gotten some like moderately good players out of these packs. But uh, no hits, no signatures, nothing. I'm going to assume that they were all weighed. Well, I'm not going to assume. I know they were all weighed. Uh, I'll make sure that there are no thick cards. But there's still a chance something slips by. Giovanni Gallardo, Bryce Harper. Okay, pretty nice. 
Paco Rodriguez rookie card. Yasiel Pugue. Pugue, I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, he's been moved around a lot lately, but he's still the boy. Awaiting the call, Greg Maddox. Okay, cool. Uh, Ricky Henderson, Jesus Montero, and Jay Bruce. Uh, so we did get a Yasiel Puig in his Dodgers uniform still, which uh, he isn't anymore, obviously. That's kind of nice. That's honestly probably our best card, other than maybe these graded cards so far. We're just going to blow through these. Souza Jr. See if we can get any good rookies. Rias Hoskins. Cleveland. Nope. Oh. Not even a rookie out of that pack. That's rough. And... Second to last pack. Jake Lamb. Bucks and Phillies. Oh. Looks like we're probably not going to hit much. Rookie card. Jake Bowers. That's pretty nice. And... League leaders, Blake Snell. Okay, that's it. Uh, they're fun boxes. You get to see a lot of different products. You get to, you know, kind of go back through history and see a bunch of different cards and a bunch of different sets and so on. I wouldn't highly recommend this box. I know I recommended uh, a similar basketball product, but uh, it felt like the basketball you got more. You were guaranteed signatures, you were guaranteed uh, at least a memorabilia card, and your packs were generally pretty good. You get more packs here, you do get graded cards, but you know you could grade anything, so it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. I mean, for your money, you have fun with it, but anytime part of your money is going towards triple play packs and little figures, I don't think it's really worthwhile. Overall though, fun to open if you're just looking for something uh, like that, that doesn't have a lot of pressure, you're probably not going to hit anything, but you get a lot of packs and it's interesting. Or alternatively, if you are looking for hobby packs in a retail setting, uh, there are a very limited number of ways to do that. So overall, uh, don't highly recommend these sets, uh, these box sets, these gems of the game, but I thought they would be an interesting pickup. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for all your support. Make sure to drop a like, uh, comment on the video what you think the best card we pulled was. I'd love to hear your input. And make sure to follow us on at Sport Breakers. Uh, that's our Instagram tag, sport underscore breakers. We do a lot of giveaways there and open packs uh, and other stuff that you're not going to see on the YouTube channel. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next video.